And you know it's time for the life of Brian. Yes. Monty Python. Let me just say, I don't know why I held out on Holy Grail for so long. I, I feel like because it wasn't it wasn't one of those that were that's always in our face. Right. You gotta right. actually search it out. It's never on reruns over here. No, it's so not. So you gotta actually search it out. And yeah, it's exactly. not no. It's probably why it's up on YouTube for free. We didn't have to <laughs> rent it or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just get this. Oh, oh yeah. Excuse me. That's our that's our glowing thing. Our of fireside chat. Alright. Oh, it's me. Look. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I just have to stay in this position forever. Yeah, <laughs> or I, I stay right here. There, there we go. go. Uh, I don't know if we'll cut that out, but well, let's get into it. Let's Life do of it. Brian. <laughs> yep. Three wise men. Got it. <laughs> what? We are three wise men. Well, what are you doing creeping around a car shed at two o'clock in the morning? That doesn't sound very wise to me. <laughs> Astrologers, we have come from the east. Is this some kind of joke? We wish to praise the infant. We must pay homage to him. Homage? You all drunk! It's disgusting! Alf, come on, Alf! <laughs> Burst in the air with tales about oriental fortune tellers! Come on, Alf! We <laughs> must see him. Go and praise someone else's brat! Go on! We were led by a star. Led by a bottle of all I go on, Alf! <laughs> oh, we must see him! We have brought presents! Alf! Gold, frankincense, myrrh. Well, why didn't you say that? Because that smooths over every <laughs> single uh, barging in at 2 yeah. o'clock in the morning. Is, yeah. Oh, you got gifts? Oh, great. What a mess. Well, what is myrrh anyway? It is a valuable bomb. A bomb? What are you giving him a bomb for? It might bite him. <laughs> what? That's a dangerous animal. Quick, throw it in the trough. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It's great feeling. No, 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 it is an ointment. Oh, there's an animal called a bomb. Or did I dream it? Are you astrologers, are you? Well, what is he then? What star sign is he? Uh, Capricorn, eh? What are they like? He is the son of God, our Messiah, King of the Jews. That's Capricorn, is it? <laughs> no, 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 that's just him. Oh, I was going to say, otherwise there'd be a lot of them. By what name are you calling him? Uh, Brian! <laughs> we worship you, O Brian, our Lord over us all. Praise unto you, Brian, and to the Lord our Father. You do a lot of this, then? What? It's <laughs> praising. No, 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 no. Uh, well, um, if you drop in by again, do pop in. <laughs> and thanks a lot for the gold and frankincense. Uh, but don't worry too much about the myrrh next time, all right? I don't know. <laughs> Would that Lord and Savior be as revered in culture in the year 2022 into 2023 if their name was Brian? I don't know, it's not, not a very lordly name, I guess. No, no. Uh, but uh, then again, who knows? Nowadays, you'd have to come out with your own profile and all that YouTube platforms and stuff. Yeah, exactly. You know? Might as well name him something like Daniel. Or, 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 or Spencer. Yeah. You know? Would have done, <laughs> had the same effect. Bloody mind, but still. Look at that. Got it. They give us and taketh away. Manger. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> 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 George Harrison was a uh, executive producer of this. What? Yeah. I mean, he executive produced the Riddles, which was, uh, you know, still Monty Python. Yep. So, yeah. Wow. That's awesome. That's, That's... awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you have you learned now about 
watching very closely to the opening credits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, in the first Monty Python, yeah. I, I, my natural, I said that my natural inclination was to fast forward, but I'm glad I didn't because <laughs> yeah. all the all the firings wild. that happened all during the, it. all the llamas. That was like, who went the first time I saw it. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, killing. Julia, AD 33. Saturday yeah. afternoon. <laughs> oh shit. About tea time. Tea time. Got it. So 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, something like that. How blessed are those who know that need of God? How blessed are the sorrowful? They shall find consolation. How blessed are those of gentle spirit? They shall have the earth for their possession. How blessed are those who hunger and thirst to see right prevail. They shall be satisfied. Blessed are those whose hearts are pure. They shall see God. Speak up! I call you a thing. Let's go to stoning. You can go to a stoning any time. Oh, come on, Brian. Will you be quiet? Don't pick your nose. I wasn't picking my nose, I was scratching. You were picking it while he was talking to that lady. I wasn't. Leave it alone, give it a rest. Do you mind? I can't hear a word he's saying. Don't you do you mind me. I was talking to my husband. <laughs> well, go and talk to him somewhere else. I can't hear a bloody thing. Don't you swear on my wife. I was only asking her to shut up so he can hear what he's saying, Big Nose. <laughs> Don't you call my husband Big Nose. Well, he has got a Big Nose. Could you be quiet, please? What was that? I don't know. It's too busy talking a big nose. I think it was blessed are the cheesemakers. <laughs> What's so special about the cheesemakers? Well, obviously, it's not meant to be taken literally. It refers to any manufacturers of dairy products. <laughs> See, if you haven't been going on, we'd have heard that, big nose. Hey, say that once more, I'll smash your bloody face in. Oh. Better keep listening. Might be a bit about blessed are the big noses. Oh, lay off him. Oh, you're not so bad yourself, conk face. Where are you two <laughs> from? No city? One more time, mate. I'll take you to fucking cleaner! Language! <laughs> Don't pick your nose! I wasn't gonna pick my nose, I'm gonna thump him! You hear that? Blessed order, he's going to inherit the earth. Did anyone catch his name? You're not gonna thump anybody. I'll thump him if he calls me Big Nose again. Oh, shut up, Big Nose. Oh, what? I warned you. I really will slug you so hard! Oh, it's the meek! Blessed are the meek! Oh, that's nice, isn't it? I'm glad they're getting something, because they have a hell of a time. Listen, I'm only telling the truth. You have got a very big nose. Hey, your nose is going to be three foot wide across your face by the time I finish with you. Shh! Well, who it yours, then? Galas, big brother. Oh, right. That's your last warning. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, let's go to the stoning. All right. Blessed is just about everyone with a vested interest in the status quo, as far as I can tell, Red. Well, what Jesus blatantly fails to appreciate is it's the meek who are the problem. Yes, yes, absolutely, Red. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Oh, come on, Brian! It's the meek who are the problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, we found that out about 2,000 years later. <laughs> oh, God, I love this already. And, and that, that fighting part, that's... It's about every uh, church service uh, I went to back home. I just feel like it, back then there were no microphones. Right. So how do you address massive crowds? You got to have a good acoustics. Good acoustics and uh, a lot of uh, uh, the ability to project your voice. <laughs> yeah, because I couldn't imagine. You couldn't be soft spoken. So I, no, I just... no, couldn't be at all. <laughs> thank God technology has come a long way since yes. 33 AD. Yes, thank God. At least a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Brian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank Brian. All right. Why aren't women allowed to go to stonings, Mum? It's written, that's why. Here, madam. Oh, look, I haven't got time to go to no stonings. He's not well again. Stonings, sir? <laughs> no, nah, they got them up there, lying around on the ground. Oh, not like these, sir. Look at these. Feel the quality of that. That's craftsmanship, sir. Well, I've had two with points and a big flat one. Can I have a flat one, Mum? <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Yeah, all right. Two points, uh, two flats, and a packet of gravel. Packet of gravel. <laughs> Should be a good one this afternoon. Yeah. Local boy. Oh, good. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Mathias, son of Deuteronomy of Gath. Yes. You have been found guilty by the elders of the town of uttering the name of our Lord, and so as a bless. Fever, you are to be stoned to death. Look, 
I'd had a lovely supper, and all I said to my wife was, that piece of halibut was good enough for Jehovah. Oh, no! <laughs> he said it again! Did you hear him? Are there any women here today? <laughs> Very well. By virtue oh, of the authority vested in me. Oh! <laughs> oh we haven't started yet. Come on. Who threw that? Who threw that stone? Come on. Sorry, I thought we started. Go to the back. Always one, isn't there? Oh, where were we? Look, I don't think it ought to be blasphemy. Just saying Jehovah. Be it worse for yourself? Making it worse? How could it be worse? Oh, my Jehovah. Warning you, if you say Jehovah once more, <laughs> who threw that? Come on, who threw that? <laughs> Was it you? Yes. Right, we just... No one is to stone anyone. Until I blow this whistle. Do you understand? Even, and I want to make this absolutely clear, even if they do say Jehovah. Overkill much? Oh, dude. <laughs> Not much has changed. No, no. As a man? What are you talking about? They're all women who's stoning them. They're all oh. pretend women. Oh. No man there. They all had to buy beards because women weren't allowed to be in the stoning. Right. Okay. Not a man amongst them. All women. Yeah. Ready to... Kill him. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. Had hell to get yeah. that anger out somehow. That hasn't changed in thousands of years. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, I can't oh. take you anywhere, man. Oh, my I God. I can't take you anywhere. Love it. <laughs> I just like, where did that big stone come from? And where can I buy one? I don't I, There are a lot out there. <laughs> there are a lot of big stones out there. Oh, God. And you had some big stones just now. 100%. Oh, man. Our, our opinions do not reflect each other sometimes. No. <laughs> sometimes not. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it looks like Michael Myers. Oh, stop thinking about sex. I wasn't. You've always had it back. Morning, noon, and night. Will the girls like this? Will the girls like that? Is it too big? Is it too small? That part definitely has not changed <laughs> in 2,000 years. <laughs> arms for an next left arm. It's all the same, ain't it? Never have any change. Oh, here's a cut. Is there a talent for an old ex lepper? A talent? One shekel. I started 2,000. We close about 1,800. No. 7050. Go away! 7040. But will you leave him alone? All right, two shekels, just two. Is this fun, eh? Look, he's not giving you any money. So piss off! Yeah, that, that reminds me of the Idiot Abroad episode. Yes. Where was it? Jordan? I think or? it was Jordan. Okay, Jordan. Uh, where uh, that town center area, it was Jordan or Egypt? I can't fucking remember. I. Where you will get haggled by all, everybody and everything. All the way through. All the way all through. All the way through. And yeah. that hasn't changed. So yeah. thank God malls are closing. <laughs> they do it all online Oh now. my God. Because remember in the, in the malls, at least when I was growing up, you'd get harassed by the people at the kiosks. Oh yeah. Trying to oh, sell you my God. everything. Like a phone plan. Holy or, crap. Uh, I don't know. Fortune telling and... And, and, unless it was one of those chairs that you sat in, you yep. put a quarter in, and it massages you, or Auntie Ant's pretzels. Yeah, but count me. I out. don't think there were kiosks. Right. That no. was, yeah, that was a staple, man. Exactly. Man. Oh, now I want a pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll do one after this. How about <laughs> yeah, that? Yeah. There you go. Did you say X leper? That's right, sir. Sixteen years behind a bell. I'm proud of you, sir. What happened? Oh, cured, sir. Cured? Yes, a bloody miracle, sir. God bless you. Well, who cured you? Jesus did, sir. I was hopping along, minding my own business. All of a sudden, up he comes, cures me. One minute I'm a leper with a trade, next minute my livelihood's gone. Not so much as a buy your leave. You're cured, mate. What <laughs> do you do, good Well, why don't you go and tell him that you want to be a leper again? Oh, I could do that, sir, yeah. Yeah, I could do that, I suppose. What I was thinking, I was going to ask him if he'd make me a bit lame in one leg during the middle of the week. It's something beggable, but not leprosy, which is a pain in the ass. To be blunt, excuse my French, sir, but... Uh... We'll clean your room out! Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, denari, we bloody life story. There's no pleasing some people. That's just what Jesus said, sir. <laughs> I love that. Oh. Good afternoon. Oh, uh, hello, officer. Uh, I'll be with you in a few moments, all right, dear. What's he doing here? Ah, uh, don't start that, Brian. Go and clean your room out, bloody Romans. Look, Brian, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have all this. And don't you forget it. We don't owe the Romans anything, Mum. Oh, that's not entirely true, is it, Bob? What do you mean? Well, you know you were asking me about your, uh... My nose? Yes, well, there's a reason it's like it is, Bob. What is it? Well, I suppose I should have told you a long time ago, but... Well, Bob, your father isn't Mr. Cohen. 
Naughtiest Maximus? Oh God! Oh, I, 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 I'll say, I'll <laughs> save that for later in this. I think, I think we're about to bite our tongue a lot right here. Yeah, yeah, I'll save that oh. for later. Slaves, asses, me, as much gold as I could eat. Then he having his way with me, and boom, I ripped out of an aqueduct. The bastard! Yes, yeah, so and next time you go on about the bloody Romans, don't forget you're one of them. I'm not a Roman lump. And I never will be. I'm a kike, a yid, a hebe, a hook nose. I'm kosher, mum. I'm a Red Sea pedestrian and proud of it. All right. It says all those things about us. Well, how are you going, officer? Policy, Jerusalem. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Children's men. <laughs> yeah, I kind of love that. <laughs> oh. So, hold on, hold on. That's awesome. I do feel red that any anti imperialist group like ours must reflect such a divergence of interest within its power base. Agreed, Francis. I think Judith's point of view is very valid, Ray. Provided the movement never forgets that it is the unalienable right of every man or woman or woman to rid himself or herself or herself. Agreed. Thank you, brother. Or, si or sister. <laughs> Where was I? I think you finished. <laughs> oh, right. Furthermore, it is the birthright of every man or woman. Why don't you shut up about women, Stan? You're putting us off. Women have a perfect right to play a part in our movement, Reg. Why are you always on about women, Stan? I want to be one. What? I want to be a woman. From now on, I want you all to call me Loretta. What? It's my right as a man. Why do you want to be Loretta, Stan? I want to have babies. Here we go. You want to have babies? Uh, it's every go. man's right to have babies if he wants them. <laughs> you can't have babies. If Don't you... you oppress me. I'm not oppressing you, Stan. You haven't got a womb. Hey, we're ahead of the curve <laughs> on this one. Oh, this is something I've I've seen this clip. And I was like, wait, and I was like, oh, this is... <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Good uh, for that. It's like Simpson-esque. Yeah, yeah, they protected the future. <laughs> yeah. Man. God. Where's the fetus gonna just take? You're gonna keep it in a box? I've got an idea. Suppose you agree that he can't actually have babies, not having a womb, which is nobody's fault, not even the Romans, but that he can have the right to have babies. Good idea, Judith. We shall fight the oppressors for your right to have babies, brother. Sister. Sorry. What's the point? What? What's the point of fighting for his right to have babies when he can't have babies? It is symbolic of our struggle against oppression. Symbolic of his struggle against reality. <laughs> Just let her do her thing. It doesn't affect you. Oh. Keep on and carry on. Oh, thanks for making me laugh, Life of Brian. I needed that right now. <laughs> we all need to take the piss out of all oh, of ourselves, no oh, matter what. Man. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Seriously? Otter's <laughs> noses, ocelot's spleen. Got any nuts? I haven't got any nuts, sorry. I've got wren's livers, badger spleen. No, no, no. Otter's noses? I don't want that Roman rubbish. Why don't you sell proper food? Proper food? Yeah, and all those rich imperialist tidbits. Oh, don't blame me. I didn't ask to sell this stuff. All right, bag of otters noses in. Take <laughs> it two. Two. Yes, Reg. Are you the Judean people's front? Fuck off. <laughs> what? The people's front of Judea. Judean <laughs> people's front. Oh. Can I join your group? Now, nah, piss off. I didn't want to sell this stuff. It's only a job. I hate the Romans as much as anybody. Are you sure? Oh, dead sure. I hate the Romans already. Listen, if you wanted to join the PFJ, you'd have to really hate the Romans. I do. Oh, yeah? How much? A lot. Right, you're in. The only people we hate more than the Romans are the fucking Judean people's front. Yeah. Yeah. And the people's front of Judea. Yeah. The people. 
when you don't read the whole job description, yet apply anyway and get the job. Oh, God. That's I, it right there. I, 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 I want to know who these guys symbolize. Let me know in the comments. I can make wild guesses, but yeah. let me know. Because it's just, I love it. Their group is just to be hateful. <laughs> so I to love it. To be hateful. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All <laughs> equal opportunity hatred, hatred right there. Hatred, yep. People's front of Judea, splitters. We're the people's front of Judea. Oh, I thought we were the popular front. People's front. Whatever happened to the popular front? He's over there. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I think I'm about to have a cardiac arrest. <laughs> oh, how convenient. <laughs> that is the lamest <laughs> win of all time. He didn't even have to fight. He just oh, had to run, run. around. I want mm. my money back. Yeah. I, I didn't even if buy I, a thing yeah. for that. I want my money back. If I had to buy a ticket. Oh, man, I want to see a game. Yeah. See an actual mm. game, man. Mm -mm -mm. Sue, we. What's your name? Brian Cohen. Hey, I have a little job for you, Brian. Oh, here we go. Come on, Brian. Get out of there. Get out of there, Brian. Come on. Oh, my God. Turn around. Here we go. You idiot. What's this then? Barney's Aeon. Thomas, people call Romanes, they go the house. It, it says Romans go home. No, it doesn't. <laughs> What's Latin for Roman? Come on, ah, come on. Romanus? Goes light. Annus? Pocket of plural of Annus is. <laughs> Annie? Romani. Aunt? What is Aunt? Go. Conjugate the verb to go. Uh, here, uh, Eo is it, imus it is Aunt. So Aunt is? Uh, uh, third person plural, uh, present indicative. Uh, they go. But Romans go home is an order, so you must use the. Which is? Uh, How many Romans? Uh, it e uh, Thomas. Uh, Nominative. Uh, go home, this is motion towards, isn't it, boy? I've had, I've had, I've had some English teachers like that. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're writing, just write it right. Seriously, <laughs> this is a, an ancient grammar Nazi right here. That's what it is. I love it. Too stupid to see what he's writing, just enough to criticize everything he's writing. Mm -hmm. He should have listened to me as I was yelling at him. Brian, get out of there. But they didn't oh, listen to me. God. Man. Why would they listen to me? Nope. I have great ideas. I, I think so. They fall on down anyway. <laughs> yeah. Under time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hell Caesar. If it's not done by sunrise, I'll cut your balls off. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hell Caesar and everything, sir. Oh. Hell Caesar. <laughs> and he ain't talking about salads. <laughs> right. Now don't do it again. Okay. I, I, I love uh, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> that right there. Let me put the screen. <laughs> that is the ancient uh, Simpsons <laughs> intro yeah. of Bart Simpson having to write down his punishment. I love that. And it just says Romans go home. <laughs> you spelled it wrong. <laughs> write it a hundred times. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in through the underground heating system here. Up through in on a main audience chamber here, pilot's wife's bedroom is here. Having grabbed his wife, we inform pilot that she's in our custody and forthwith issue our demands. Any questions? What exactly are the demands? We're giving pilot two days to dismantle the entire apparatus of the Roman imperial estate, and if he doesn't agree immediately, we execute her. Cut her head off, cut all her bits off. Send them back on the hour, every hour. Tell them why not to be trifled with. And of course, we point out that they bear full responsibility when we chop her up, and that we shall not submit to blackmail. No <laughs> blackmail! They let us wipe fast. They take everything we had, and not just from us, from our fathers, and from our fathers' fathers. And from our fathers' fathers' fathers. And from our fathers' 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 fathers. <laughs> fathers. Right, and don't label the point. And what have they ever given us in return? What? The aqueduct. Oh, yeah, yeah, they did give us that. Uh, that's true, yeah. And the sanitation. Oh, yeah, the sanitation, man. Do you remember what the city used to be like? All right, I'll grant you, the aqueduct and the sanitation are two things the Romans have done. And the roads. Well, yeah, obviously yeah. the roads. The roads go without sand, don't they? But apart from the sanitation, the aqueduct and the roads... <laughs> irrigation. Medicine. <laughs> education. 
Yeah, all right, fair enough. And the wine? Yeah, yeah, that's something we've really misrated. The Romans left. <laughs> Public baths. And it's safe to walk in the streets at night now, Reg. And certainly not to keep order. Let's face it, the only ones who could in a place like this. <laughs> All right, but apart from the sanitation, <laughs> the medicine, education, wine, public order, irrigation, road, the fresh water system and public health, what have the Romans ever done for us? Brought peace? Oh, peace. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Before this, they left out pizza and lasagna, <laughs> and spaghetti, and ice cream. <sighs> and all, all that. Ice all cream? That. Romans? No, wait, that was a Chinese invention. <laughs> I was like, Never ice mind. cream? I don't Gelatos! Think... Sorry. Yeah, I just... Italian ice. Yeah. <laughs> later on down. Yeah, we'll all later down the road. <laughs> just play out. Like... I'm a poor man, my son is All right, Matthias. It's all clear. Nice hiding places. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That sucks, man. Well, where's Reg? movement, Brian, but before you join us, know this. There is not one of us here who would not gladly suffer death to rid this country of the Romans once and for all. Well, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> but otherwise, we're solid. Are you with us? Yes. Now on you shall be called Brian, that is called Brian. Yes, Brian, that is called Brian. This is the plan. All now, right. This is the palace in Caesar Square. Our commando unit will approach from Fish Street under cover of night and make our way to the northwestern main drain. If questioned, we are sewage workers on our way to a conference. Ridge, our glorious leader and founder of the PFJ, will be coordinating consultant at the drain head, though he himself will not be taking part in any terrorist action as he has a bad back. What are you going to come with us? Solidarity, brother! Oh, yes. So solidarity, Reg. Once in the sewer, timing will be of the essence. There is a Roman feast later in the evening, so we must move fast. And don't wear your best sandals. <laughs> Turning left here, we enter the Caesar Augustus Memorial Sewer, and from there proceed directly to the Hypercourse. This has just been retiled, so terrorists, careful with those weapons. We will now be directly beneath Pilate's audience chamber itself. This is the moment for Habakkuk to get out his prom. Here we go. What the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 Very nice. <laughs> Couldn't have worked that out better. Nope. Wow. Oh shit. Campaign for free Galilee. Oh, uh, people front of Judea. Officials. Oh. What's your group doing here? We're gonna kidnap Pilate's wife, take her back, it's your demand. Sorry. <laughs> what? That's our plan. We were here first. What do you mean? We thought of it first. Oh, yes, a couple of years ago. <laughs> we did. Okay, oh, come on. You've got all your demands worked, aren't they? Of course we have. What are they? Well, I'm not telling you all. Oh, we thought of it before you. Go. We did. You, you bastards, we've been planning this for months. What oh, tough titty for you, fish face. Oh, oh <laughs> Brothers, we should be struggling together. Oh, oh. We, we are. We fight each other. Surely we should be united against the common enemy. The Judean people's front. No, no. I felt that. I felt that. I felt that in the NFL. Uh -huh. You know, everyone is fighting for their team, but everyone hates the Eagles. Or and the Bucks. Yes. So Both those teams. It'd be like one of those suck things. A dick. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I feel that. Yeah. Great. <laughs> right, where were we? Uh, you were gonna punch me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh wow. Oh shit. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> oh wow. You lucky bastard. Who's that? You lucky bastard. <laughs> Drop the little Jamie's pet, aren't we? What do you mean? You must have slipped him a few shekels, eh? You saw him spit in my face? Oh, what wouldn't I give to be spat at in a face? Oh, sometimes I ain't awake at night dreaming of being spat at in a face. Well, it's not exactly friendly, is it? They have me in my- Oh, dear heaven! It's to be allowed to be put in manacles just for a few hours. <laughs> they must think the sun shines out of your ass, Sonny. Oh, let off me! I've had a hard time! You've had a hard time! <laughs> I've been here five years. They only owned me the right way up yesterday. So don't you come round. Oh. All right. 
They must be your Lord God Almighty. What will they do to me? Oh, you'll probably get away with crucifixion. Crucifixion? First offence. Get away with crucifixion? <laughs> it's the best thing the Romans ever did for us. What? Oh, yeah. If we didn't have crucifixion, this country would be in a right bloody mess. God. What do you want? I want you to move me to another cell. <laughs> oh. you? Look at that. Blech. Bloody favouritism. Shut up, you. Sorry. Now take my case. They hung me up here five years ago. Every night they'd take me down for 20 minutes, then they hang me up again. Which I regard as very fair in view of what I done. And if nothing else, it's taught me to respect the Romans. And it's taught me that you'll never get anywhere in this life unless you're prepared to do a fair day's work for a fair day. <laughs> Shut up! Pilot wants to see you. Me? Come on! Pilot? What does he want to see me for? I think he wants to know which one you want to be crucified. Oh! <laughs> nice one, Centurion. Like it, like it. Shut up! Terrific race, the Romans. Terrific. I don't know about that. I was about to say, I don't know how nice they are. <laughs> the get guy away. was kind of delusional. <laughs> get away. You got to get away with crucifixion. Yeah. I love that. Get away with crucifixion. <laughs> One survivor, sir. Oh. Throw him to the floor. What's it? Throw him to the floor. Ah, what is your name, Jew? Brian, sir. Brian, eh? No, no, Brian. The little rascal has spirit? As what, sir? Spirit? Yes, he did, sir. You know, spirits, um, or bardo, a touch of knowing do. Oh, uh, about 11, sir. So, <laughs> you dare to wade us? To what, sir? Strike him, St. Julian, very roughly. Oh, and, uh, throw him to the floor, sir. What? Throw him to the floor again, sir. Oh, yes, throw him to the floor, please. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Jewish rapscallion. <sighs> I'm not Jewish, I'm a Roman. A Roman? No, no, Rome. A woman. Your father was a woman. Who was he? He was a centurion in the Jerusalem garrisons. Really? What was his name? Nautius Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any one of that name in the garrison? Well, no, sir. Well, you sound very sure. Have you checked? Well, no, sir. Um, I think it's a joke, sir. Like, uh... Silly or Sonus or Biggest Dickus, sir. <laughs> What's so uh, funny about Biggest Dickus? Well, it's a joke name, sir. I have a very great friend in Rome called Biggest Dickus. <laughs> Silence! What is all this insolence? You will find yourself in gladiator school very quickly with rotten behavior like that. Can I go now, sir? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Wait, your Biggest Dickus hears of this. <laughs> Wait! Take him away! Oh, sorry, yeah. No, no, I want him fighting rabid <laughs> wild animals within a week! Yes, sir. Come on, you. That clip gets yeah. suggested all the time. <laughs> Take us dick us. Oh, man. I this... never, which I've never seen. I guess we're gonna, we're gonna take this and clip, <laughs> clip that, put it up. On YouTube to let people know that it's in the Patreon. <laughs> Biggest dick us. Oh, God. I will not have my friends ridiculed by the common soldiery. Anybody else feel like a little giggle when I mention my friend, Biggis? What about you? Do you find it visible <laughs> when I say the name Dickus? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's like me. <laughs> oh my god. I've I've been fighting my I've been finding that I do this a lot more with things I shouldn't find funny. <laughs> And then, hmm, I just have to like kill it, and something dies in you when you kill a laugh. <laughs> oh, oh God! I, I, is that what you're trying to do every time you go up? Uh, <sighs> yep. Every yep. time. I'm just. Now, now you get it. <sighs> now you get it. There's so many times in life I've had to just bite my tongue or excuse myself from the room. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather say I have massive diarrhea right now <laughs> and excuse myself from the room and i'm trying to get you to not do that yeah. i want you to just blurt it out <laughs> because this, it'll be comedy gold this shit though you've done this you've been in situations where you can't laugh i know I have. it's the worst where you laugh the most inappropriate time it's the fucking worst and if you're one that laughs at inappropriate times you gotta leave a like on the video 100 percent. that's the rule 100 percent Oh my god. I don't know why I'm staring at the camera right now. I don't Let's know. Let's just play the clip. Yes. He has a wife, you know. 
You know what she's called? She's called Incontinentia. Incontinentia buttocks. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> See, that's how you get out of these situations. Yes. You got to make everybody laugh and distract them and then run like hell. Yep. I mean, if my fearless leader started saying words like biggest dickus, I would have to quit. I would have to leave. I, I can't be around that. <laughs> I can't be around it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave. I quit. His wife in cotton as butt. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, no. What? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? What? Aliens. So <laughs> aliens do exist. What in the... What in the fuck? Oh, I came out of nowhere right there. Who thinks? Who thinks of this shit? Like Monty fucking Python does. No one expect. That's before the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> do not remember that scene in Star Wars? Holy crap. I love this movie. It is great. If someone said that this movie is boring, F you. This is great. This yeah. is this if, a masterpiece. If you think this is boring, you have no pulse. <laughs> yeah. If you don't think god. it's funny, you have no sense of humor. Oh my god. Oh, you lucky bastard. Uh oh. <laughs> and the reason Chuck is huge and black and the eyes get off red with the blood of living creatures. And the whore of Babylon. I met this guy on the streets of Baltimore one time. Yeah, not much has changed. Yeah, I get how much has much has changed. That's gonna be the, the phrase of this video is yeah. not much has changed. Oh. Women shall bear a nine bladed four. Nine bladed, not two or five or seven, but nine! Which he will wield on all wretched sinners, sinners just like you, sir, there. And the horns shall be on the head. Hebediah, his servant. There shall in that time be rumors of things going astray. Um, and there shall be a great confusion as to where things really are. And nobody will really know where lieth those little things with, with the sort of raffia work base that has an attachment. At this time, a friend shall lose his friend's hammer, and the young shall not know where lie the things possessed by their fathers that their fathers put there only just the night before, about eight o'clock. What? It's written in the book of Cyril. But in that time... Oh, shit. How much, quick? What? It's for the wife. Oh, uh, 20 shekels. Right. What? There you are. Wait a minute. What? Well, we're, we're supposed to haggle. No, 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 I've got to get... What do you mean, no, no, no? <laughs> well, give it back, then. No, 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 I just paid you. What? Yeah. This bloke won't haggle. Won't haggle? All right, do we have to? Now, look, I want 20 for that. Uh, I just gave you 20. Now, are you telling me that's not worth 20 shekels? No. Look at it. Feel the quality. That's not in your goat. All right, I'll give you 19, then. No, 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 come on, do it properly. What? Haggle properly, this isn't worth 19. You just said it was <laughs> worth 20. Oh, dear. Back to our point <laughs> earlier. <laughs> You go in these parts, haggling is what you not got to do. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But, <laughs> but if you need something really quick, like, God, I don't have time for that, but you got a bunch of Roman... Um, centurions behind centurions you? Centurions yeah. about to uh, poke your ass. <laughs> oh, dear. Come on, haggle. All right, I'll give you ten. That's more like it. Ten? Are you trying to insult me? Me with a poor dying grandmother? Ten? All right, I'll give you 11. Now you're getting it. 11? Did I hear you right? 11? This cost me 12? You want to ruin me? 17? No, 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 no. 17. 18? No, no, you get a 14 now. All right, I'll give you 14. 14? Are you joking? That's what you told me to say. Oh, dear. Oh, tell me what to say, please. Offer me 14. I'll give you 14. He's offering me 14 for this. 15. 17. My last word. I won't take a penny less or strike me dead. 16. Done. Asked to do business with you. Tell you what, I'll throw you in this as well. I don't want it, but thanks. But, yeah. Right. Now, where's the 16 you owe me? I just gave you 20. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's four I owe you, then. No, that's right, that's fine. No, hang on, I've got it here somewhere. That's right, that's four for the gourd. Four? 
But it's good. Oh. Well, look at it. It's worth <laughs> ten if it's worth a shekel. <laughs> you just gave it to me for nothing. Yes, but it's worth ten. Oh, no, no, no. It's not worth ten. You're supposed to argue. Ten for that, you must be mad. <laughs> I was about to say, if Brian did not get out right then and there, he is an idiot. Uh, uh, just get out, dude. Yeah, you got what you and needed. It's always like that. You, like, it just these these conversational terrorists, they don't leave you alone. Yeah, they just exactly. freaking, just... ah, they just grab a hold of you mm -hmm. and they kill your time. It's like, it's like where I grew up, like, we used to have yard sales and people would haggle over, you know, the stupidest things. Yep. Like, I'm like... Dollar amount on the price tag, you moron. They <laughs> exactly. Saw, no haggle. They saw one episode of American Pickers and think they can haggle, but they're really bad at it. <laughs> and they'll do that thing where they just walk around, act like they're coming up with a better offer, and then a couple minutes later, they'll just come back and pay sticker price. Yep. Yep. It's such a bullshit but, game. But haggling. That's yeah. an art. It's an yeah. art. It is an art to it. Pick your time and place, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, well. One born every minute. Joe, 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 Joshua, 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 Judges, Judges, Judges. I now propose that all seven of these ex-brothers be now entered in the minutes as probationary martyrs to the cause. I second that, Reg. Thank you, Loretta. On the nod. Siblings, let us not be downhearted. One total catastrophe like this is just the beginning. Their glorious deaths so unite us all and look out. The worst hiding spots ever. I love it. Hello? What's that? Hey, go away. Hey, it's me, Brian. Get off. Get off out of it. Stan, get piss off. Coming. By the way, what's Nadia from Slade doing guarding the door? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's Christmas mm. time. You should be out making millions. Yeah. A man shall strike his donkey and his nephew's donkey. My eyes are dim. I cannot see. Are you Matthias? Yes. We have reason to believe you may be eyed in one Brian of Nazareth, the member of the terrorist organization, the People's Front of Judea. Me? No, I'm just a poor old man. I have no time for lawbreakers. My legs are gray, my ears are gnarled, my eyes are old and bent. Quiet! Silly person. Oh, shit. Come on! <laughs> what the fuck? Penalty laid down by Roman law for harboring a known criminal? No. Crucifixion. Oh. Nasty, eh? Could be worse. What you mean, could be worse? <laughs> well, you could be stabbed. Stabbed? Takes a second. Crucifixion lasts hours. It's a slow, horrible death. Well, at least it gets you out in the open air. You're weird. No, sir. Couldn't find anything, sir. But don't worry, you've not seen the last of us. Weirdo. <laughs> Watch it. Oh, man. That was lucky. Oh, sorry, Reg. Oh, it's all right, siblings. He's sorry he led the Fifth Legion straight to our official headquarters. <laughs> well, that's all right, Emma. <coughs> Sit down. Have a scone. Make yourself a dough. You cut! <laughs> you stupid, bad brain, flat headed. Open his mouth too Wait. soon. My legs are old and bent. My ears are grizzled. Yes. There's one place we didn't look. God, I'm just a poor old man. No. My nose is knackered. Have you ever seen anyone crucified? Crucifixion's a doddle. Don't keep saying that. <laughs> How many spoons, sir? Well done, Sergeant. We'll be back. Oddball. Open up. <laughs> you haven't given us time to hide. So no, basically, basically this is Instagram of the past. Yes. And Facebook Marketplace or Facebook, period. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's, Love it. That's guerrilla marketing at its best yeah, right there. That, that's before. You had to hit the subscribe. Yeah. Oh, my God. Which you should do, by yeah, the way, if you haven't way. already. Well, I think it's still free to subscribe. But that's right. Free. It is. It doesn't cost a thing. What? Don't pass judgment on other people, or you might get judged yourself. What? Huh? I said, don't pass judgment on other people, or else you might get judged, too. Oh, me? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Well, not just you, all of you. That's a nice gourd. What? How much do you want for the gourd? I don't, you can have it. Have it? Yes. Consider the lilies. Search for a heckle. No, in the field. <laughs> What's wrong with it then? Nothing, take it. Consider the lilies? Uh, well, the birds then. What birds? Any birds. Why? Well, have they got jobs? Who? The birds. The birds got jobs? What's the matter with him? Says the birds are scrounging. 
Oh, so the point is, the birds, they do all right, don't they? Well, good luck to them. Yeah, they're very pretty. OK, and you're much more important than they are, right? So what are you worrying about? They are, see? I'm worrying about what you've got against <laughs> birds. <laughs> they're not getting it at all. Unless it's an African swallow. <laughs> I, I only remember this phrase because my senior year of high school, I auditioned for, for the spring musical, which was Godspell. And the way you auditioned was, in that particular one, was to take um, a uh, biblical verse or whatever it was and interpret it. And I took this phrase and I turned it into a Billy Mays commercial. <laughs> Hi, Billy yes. Mays here for Solomon Braincoats. <laughs> something, something. But wait, there's more. Call in the next 20 minutes and we'll double the offer. <laughs> yeah. That's a great sale. I guarantee it. Here's how to order. Yes. I like that. I Dude, didn't get the part. Yeah. Uh, they're lost. What do you think against the bird? Consider the lily. He's oh, having a go at the flowers oh, now. Give the flowers a chance. I'll give you one for it. It's yours. Two. Look, there was this man and he had two servants. What were they called? What were their names? I don't know. And he gave them some talents. You don't know? Well, it doesn't matter. He doesn't know what they were called. Oh, they were called Simon and Adrian. Now... Oh, you said you didn't know. It really doesn't matter. The point is, there were these two servants. He's making it up as he goes along. No, I'm not. And he gave them some... Now, wait a minute. Were there three? Oh, oh there he's three. terrible. There were three. There were, there were <laughs> two or three. Oh, oh, get and... off. <laughs> now, here's it. A blessed are they who convert their neighbors off. Shall inhibit their girth. Grab it! And to them only shall be given. To them only shall be given. What? Hmm? Shall be given what? <laughs> Oh, well, we're going to see something. Hello, Brian. Before you go. Get out of there. <laughs> it's a secret, otherwise he'd tell us. Hello. Hey, this is the secret. This is the secret of eternal life. Who won't tell you the secret of eternal life? I wouldn't say. No, Leave no, me alone. Just tell me, please. No, go away. No, go away. That's his glory. We got the secret. Yeah, but it's under offer. This oh. is his glory. <laughs> yes. It is his glory. We will carry it for you, Master. <laughs> master? He's gone. He's been taken up. Oh god. Originally I was gonna predict that only twelve people yeah, were going to follow right. him, but I think there's more. I think so. Yeah. And that is yeah. how I was born. Exactly. Oh man. <laughs> there's a shoe! He has given us a sign! Oh, he has given us a shoe! The shoe is the sign! Let us follow his example! What? Let us, like him, put up one shoe and let the other be upon our foot, for this is his sign that all who follow him shall do likewise. Yes. No, 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 the shoe is a sign that we must gather shoes together in abundance. Cast off the what? shoes, follow the gold! No, let us gather <laughs> shoes together, let me. Oh, get no, off. no, it is a sign that like him we must think not of the things of the body, but of the face and head. Give me your shoe. Follow the gold, the holy gold. Take the shoes and follow him. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. Cause that is exactly what happened to, yeah. to it, Christianity. It's a and, and it was just a simple interpretation. And it, he lost his shoe because he was running and he lost it. Just I feel like, oh man, it's a it, this is a very smart clip it is very smart it it's like perfectly uh, it defines the the breakup of that it's a it's a good cautionary tale yeah it's like look oh this is it this is how i interpret what he meant and there's different groups going yeah. off and following different things oh yeah boom yep and it wasn't until martin luther came along and, yep. and just kind of <laughs> amplified that whole split yep wow yay he cometh to us like the siege of the grave Back then, they didn't have Google Maps, they didn't have Waze. How'd they know where he was going? Probably footprints. We all have them. Oh, that's right. I'm an idiot. <laughs> They've been around for a long time. They have been Since as long as we have been. Yeah, yeah, they were in BC. Yeah. Yes. Hey, is there another way down? Is there another path down to the river? Please help me, I've got to get... Oh, my foot. Oh, oh. so damn, damn, damn. I'm sorry. Oh, damn. Damn it, blow 
lost it. I'm sorry. Shh. And you shh me. 18 years of total silence and you shh me. What? I've kept my vow for 18 years. Not a single recognizable articulate sound has passed my lips. Well, see, could you be quiet for another five minutes? No, oh, it doesn't matter now. I might as well enjoy myself. The times in the last 18 years I've wanted to shout and sing and scream shh. my name out. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, Nagila. Oh, no. Oh, Nagila. <laughs> How bad are women? The master! He is here! He is here! Master, speak to us! Go away! How shall we go away, master? Oh, just go away! Leave me alone! He has given us a sign! He has brought us to this place! I didn't bring you here! You just followed me! By any standard. Master, <laughs> your people have walked many miles to be with you. They are weary and have not eaten. It's not my fault they haven't eaten. There is no food in this high mountain. Well, what about the juniper bushes over there? Who oh, by his word? They've brought forth juniper berries. Of course they've brought forth juniper berries. They're juniper bushes. What do you expect? Show us another miracle. Do not tempt him, shallow one. <laughs> is not the miracle of the juniper bushes enough? I say, those are my juniper bushes. They are a gift from God. I am affected by a bald pat. I'm... Heal me! I didn't touch him! I was blind, <laughs> now I can see. Oh, he hurt my foot! Oh, oh, no, 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 Dude. Again, like you said earlier, another cautionary tale of the split of all of that. Just, oh my god. <laughs> just it's perfect. It's you got to think about this for it to be like just I understand how freaking hilarious yeah, this is. A little bit of a cerebralness you know, to it. And, and it helps that you you know your background is definitely born in Bible Belt. It is. So you yeah. understand this. That's why it's so funny to me. I came from uh, evangelical backgrounds. I heard uh, this shit. Yeah. And, and I was raised and I, I like but it's just like you have to have it. perfect. This is perfect. Great comedy. Cerebral comedy honestly. <laughs> it's very smart. Exactly. Like yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Judas? Judas. Judas or Judas? We're about to find out. Huh. Nice. Hey, this is like... Letting it up. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> you! <laughs> wow! <laughs> and so that happened. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about nightmare. Can you imagine? I, I didn't know <laughs> that there was a way that you could accidentally leak pictures of your dick in those times. <laughs> oh. And that was Dickus Averages right there. <laughs> God, good old Dickus Averages. Oh, God. Hello, Mother. Don't you hello, Mother me. What are all those people doing out there? Oh, well, I... Uh... Come on, what have you been up to, my leg? I think they must have popped by for something. Popped by? Swarm by, more like. There's a multitude out there. They started following me yesterday. Well, they can stop following you right now. Now stop following my son! You ought to be ashamed of yourselves! There's no messiah in here! There's a mess, all right, but no messiah! Now go away! <laughs> right, man, what have you been up to? Nothing, Mum! Come on, out of it! Well, they think I'm the messiah, Mum. You're only making it worse for yourselves! Look, I can explain! Oh, no! Let me explain! Oh, you can't explain it! Oh, you can't explain it! Oh, your son is a born leader! Those people up there are born! 
lot is going on for our friend yeah. Brian here. God, what a morning. <laughs> it's like live action of telling my mother that I have... I run a channel with my best friend that has almost 83,000 YouTube subscribers. Ugh. And it's like, who are these people? <laughs> yeah. Stop following my son. Stop following my son. <laughs> oh, my God. And a, a flashback to 16. <laughs> and the first time you have a girl over. <laughs> it's, I love this. This is oh just God. a train wreck. Such a train wreck. <laughs> I love it. The faces of everyone in this shot. It's perfect. <laughs> Uh. I believe you can give them hope, hope of a new life, a new world, a better future. Um, okay, Judith. Mother. Yep. Now you listen here. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Now go away. I'm his mother. That's who. Behold his mother. Behold his mother. This ability to humble anybody. <sighs> it doesn't matter how big you get or how great you are at something, your mother will always bring you back down to reality. Yes, 100%, man. <laughs> In fact, I've had the idea next year when Mother's Day and Father's Day comes around to have our parents come Ooh, on. Oh, that would be on good. On Mother's Day, I have my mother. On Father's Day, your dad. I'm, come I'm on. down with that. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to see that, let us know. <laughs> let us know. Leave that Welsh tart alone. <laughs> God. Please listen. I've got one or two things to say. Look, you've got it all wrong. You don't need to follow me. You don't need to follow anybody. You've got to think for yourself. You're all individuals! Yes! We're all individuals! Yes! We're all different! I'm not. <laughs> sure. I'm you not. all got to work it out for yourself! Yes! We got to work it out for ourselves! Exactly! No! That's the point! Don't let anyone tell you what to do! Otherwise, I'll oh, no! Oh, yes, it was! Virgin? <laughs> I beg your pardon? Well, if it's not a personal question, are you a virgin? <laughs> if it's not a personal question, how much more personal can you get? Now piss off! <laughs> so that's where that idea came from. <laughs> oh my god. Not, not to cover up an affair. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna piss people off if I say that. Oh my god, but dude. We've pissed people enough, enough from this. Come yes, on now. Have. Yes, we have. No toes are safe. But it drives that sweet engagement, so... Yes, get Rogered. Exactly. <laughs> get your hands on here, quick! Now don't jostle the chosen one, please! I say, see my wife, she has a hitty. You'll have to wait, I'm afraid. At the mounts on Sunday? No. Don't push! And keep the noise down, please! Who's possessed by devils? Try and keep them under control of me, are you? Oh my god! Don't we all need that moment? Yeah, we all need that moment. Women take an insane line up against that wall, will you? Brian? Brian, you are fantastic! You weren't so bad yourself. <laughs> oh, what you said just now is quite extraordinary. What? Well, that was it. We don't need any leaders. You're so right. Red has been dominating us for too long. Well, yes. It needed saying. And you said it, Brian. You're... Very attractive. It's our revolution. We can all do it together. I think... So. We're all behind you, Brian. The revolution is in your hands. What? No, that's not what I meant at all. <laughs> you all fucking nicked me, old beauty. <laughs> Uh-oh. Before we get into this, you just change the... Uh, gotcha. Yes. Yeah. At the time of this recording, it is the dead of winter. Yes. It is near Christmas. And we're expecting a white Christmas. 
So we need to keep ourselves nice and warm. It's ironic, isn't it? Something that gives out heat is all iced up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's freezing looking, man. By the way, does anybody have any ideas how to like <laughs> you reuse these things? Yeah, it's mighty wasteful. Anna it said hurts. that. Yeah. You got this? I got it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And I'm ten banana. Oh, nice. So you got to release that song. Do the remix. Yes. Song coming out to you very soon. On Spotify. <laughs> New demo. Now that's Bandcamp, man. SoundCloud. Uh-huh. Yeah, only available on Napster. <laughs> and OnlyFans. OnlyFans, <laughs> exactly. God <laughs> damn. Stop it. Well, Brian, you've given us a good run for money. A what? <laughs> this time, I guarantee we'll not escape. God, do you have any crucifixions today? 139, sir. Special celebration, Passover, sir. Right. Now we have 140. Nice round number, eh, Bigos? <laughs> <laughs> Hail Caesar! Hail! Crowd outside are getting a bit restless, sir. Permission to disperse them, please? Disperse them? Because I haven't addressed them yet. Ah, uh, no, I know, sir, but... May I address is one of the high points of the Passover, my friend Bigos Dickus? Has come all the way from Rome just to hear it. He's a hell fever. <laughs> you're not. Are uh, you not uh, thinking of giving it a miss this year, then, sir? Give it a miss? Well, it's just that they're in a rather funny mood today, sir. Really, Centurion? I'm surprised to hear a man like you rattled by a rabble of wildy rebels. A bit funnery, sir. Take him away. A Roman! I, I can prove it honestly! And crucify him well! I, I really wouldn't, sir. Out of the way, St. Julian. Let me come with you, Pontius. I may be of some assistance if there is a sudden crisis. <laughs> right, now, uh, item for attainment of world supremacy within the next five years. Uh, Francis, you've been doing some work on this? Yeah, thank you, Rage. Well, quite frankly, siblings. I think five years is optimistic, unless we go smash the Roman Empire within the next 12 months. 12 months, yeah, 12 months. And let's face it, as empires go, this is the big one. So we've got to get up off our asses and stop just talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. It's action that counts, not words, and we need action now. Yeah. 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 You're right. We could sit around here all day talking, passing resolutions, making clever speeches. It's not a shift. One Roman soldier. So let's just stop gabbing on about it. It's completely pointless and it's getting us nowhere. Right. right. I agree. This is a complete waste of time. What? They drag him off. They're going to crucify him. Right. This calls for immediate discussion. Yes. Oh, what? <laughs> immediate. Right. New motion. Completely new motion. Add uh, that there be uh, immediate action. Uh, once the vote has been taken. Well, obviously, once the vote's been taken, you can't act on a resolution until you vote. Yes, it's it's you it's it's in the light of fresh information from uh, Sibin Judith. Yes. Oh, not so fast, Reg. Reg, for God's sake! It's perfectly simple. All you've got to do is to go out of that door now and try to stop the Romans nailing him up. It's happening, Reg. Something's actually happening, Reg. Can't you understand? <laughs> Hello. Another little ego trip from the feminists. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> Before we talk about that, uh, that is a perfect example of government uh, taking so long because everything has to be done by committee. I have to go through a bunch of hoops. Yep. yep. Another cautionary it. tale. There's more. a lot of cautionary tales here. There is. And we're going to ruffle a lot of feathers with it. I don't think so. Everyone knows history repeats itself. Come on. You know what it is. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and if you're getting butt hurt by it, it's because you know it's <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, you got to wake up. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, Dorota. Uh, read that back, would you? Next. Crucifixion. Yes. Good. Out of the door. Line on the left. One cross each. Next. Crucifixion. Yes. Good. Out of the door, line on the left, one cross each. Next. Crucifixion. Uh, no, freedom. What? Uh, freedom for me. They said I hadn't done anything so I could go free and live on an island somewhere. Oh. Oh, well, that's jolly good. Well, off you go then. Nah, I'm only pulling your leg. It's crucifixion, really. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, very good, very good. Well, out of the door. Yeah, another way. Out of the door, one line cross each, line on the left. Line on the left. <laughs> Crucifixion. Yes. Good. Dude, he almost got out. Like, that's... Like, I was going to give them credit for having such a streamlined process, but then <clears throat> I found out they hired one of their 
dumbest people. Yep. That almost <laughs> set someone free to go live on an island. <laughs> well, they just said no. If you don't ask, you'll never know. Exactly. If you don't ask, the answer will always be no. Regardless. All the time. Yep. People of Jerusalem, whom is your friend? To prove our friendship, it is customary at this time to release a wanderer from our prison. Whom would you have me release? Release Roger! Yeah. <laughs> Very well, I shall release Roger! Sir, uh, we don't have a Roger, sir. What? Uh, we don't have anyone all that name, sir. We have no Roger. Oh. <laughs> well, what about Waterwick, then? Yeah! <laughs> Waterwick. <laughs> Ancient internet trolls. <laughs> yeah. We have traced them. <laughs> Found the origin uh, of them. Uh, good old Waterwick. <laughs> Are they going to release Ben Dover next? Yeah. Why do they titter so? Just some uh, Jewish joke, sir. Are they wagging me? Oh, no, sir. Very well. I shall release Roderick. We don't have a Roderick either. No, no Roderick. Sorry, sir. Who is this what? Who is this Roderick to whom you refer? <laughs> He's a woman. He sounds a notorious criminal. We haven't got him, sir. Do we have anyone in our prisons at all? Oh, yes, sir. We got a Samson, sir. Samson? Samson, the Sadducee Strangler, sir. Pilus, the Syrian Assassin. Uh, several seditious scribes from Caesarea. 67 Syrian... Let me speak to them, oh, no. uh, Good oh. idea, because... Speak them! We have a Samson, the Sadducee Strangler. Silas, the Assyrian Assassin. Several seditious scribes from Caesarea. Next. Uh, it's like... Crucifixion? He... Okay, John Cleese's character... Yeah. ...is setting the Emperor up for success. He can't say R's, so S's. And then all of a sudden, good old biggest dickus coming in with a lisp. <laughs> <laughs> and then he takes all the ones with the S's. <laughs> I love that, this man. This is amazing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Yes? Go out of the door, line on the left, one cross each. Jailer, excuse me, there's been some sort of mistake. Just a moment, Richard. Jailer, how many have come through? What? Uh, you, you'll have to speak, 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 speak up a bit, say. How many have come through? Oh, dear. <laughs> I'll make it 96, sir. It's such a senseless waste of human life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sir, no, not with these bastards, sir. It's too good for them, sir. I don't think you can say it's too good for them. It's, it's very nasty. Oh, it's nasty. <laughs> no, it's not as nasty as something I just brought up, sir. Ow, oh, um, crucifixion. Is there someone I could speak to? Well, I know I did it if you want it. What? Damn, don't, don't worry about it. Hear him say, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, dead, dead. He's dead, dead, dead. Right, sir. Well, how did he get the job? Bloody pilot's pet, sir. Get a move on, big nose. There's people waiting to be crucified out here. <laughs> like a lawyer or someone. Um, do, do you have a lawyer? No, but I'm a Roman. How about a retrial? We've got plenty of time. Shut up, you miserable bloody Romans. No sense of humour. I'm sorry, a bit of a hurry. Can you go straight up, line on the left, one cross each. Now. Dying of laughter. Well, it's something I said. Silence. This man commands the quack legion. <laughs> Crucifixion party. Morning. Now, we will be on show as we go through the town, so let's not let the side down. Keep in a good straight line, three lengths between you and the man in front, and a good steady pace. Crosses over your left shoulders, and if you keep your backs hard up against the cross beam, you'll be there in no time. All right, Centurion. Crucifixion party! Wait for it! Crucifixion party! By the left! Oh, ah! oh man! You lucky bastards! You <laughs> lucky guy. jabby bastards! Let oh. me shoulder your burden, brother. Oh, thank you. Just oh, ran away. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, it, it's not my crop. Shut up! Get on with it! <laughs> Congratulations! He had you there, mate, didn't he? That'll Just teach you a side. lesson. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will give you one more chance. This time I want to hear no Rubens, no Reginalds, no 
Rudolph the wet nose reindeers. <laughs> Rudolph, Pamper Places. Oh, we shall with no one. Finish, Ryan! Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Well, very well. That's it. So, we, uh, we haven't got a bride, sir. What? Are you just sent it for crucifixion, sir? Uh, oh, wait. We do have a Brian. Very well. I shall release Brian. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Hope you get yeah, move on there. Or what? Will you be in trouble? Oh, dear. You mean I might have to give up being crucified in the afternoons? Shut up! That would be a blow, wouldn't it? I wouldn't have nothing to do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> We've we got lumps of it around the back. What? Oh, don't worry about him, sir. He's mur... He's... He's mad, sir. And then gone! Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, come on! Yes, sir. Anyway, get on with the story. Well, I initially never really liked him, so... Uh, Wow. Right, that's the motion to get on with it, pass with a one abstention. I now propose that we go without further ado. May I have a second there for... Finally! Oh, no. Bloody Roman, watch it! <laughs> got a few crosses left. Up you go, big nose! I'll get you for this, you bastard. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, don't worry. I'll never forget a face. No! I'll warn you. I'm gonna punch you so hard, you Roman. That's that guy. Shut up, you Jewish turd! Oh, you call it Jewish? I'm not Jewish. I'm a Samaritan. A Samaritan? This is supposed to be a Jewish section. It doesn't matter. You're all going to die in a day or two. It may not matter to you, Roman, but it certainly matters to us, doesn't it, darling? Oh, rather. <laughs> Under the terms of the Roman occupancy, we're entitled to be crucified in a purely Jewish area. Pharisees separate from Sadducees. <laughs> and Swedish separate to Welsh. I will soon settle this. Hands up. All those who don't want to be crucified here. Next! Uh, look, it's not my cross. What? Um, it's not my cross. I was, uh, holding it for someone. Just lie um, down. I haven't got all day. No, of course. Um, look, I hate to make a fuss. Look, uh, we've had a busy day. There's 140 of you lot together. Is he Jewish? Will you be quiet? <laughs> we don't want any more Samaritans around here. Belt up! Uh, will you let me down if he comes back? Yeah, we'll <laughs> let you down. X! You don't have to do this! You don't have to take orders! I like orders. Oh, it might be too late! That'd be sad. Hey, not so bad, watch you up. You've been rescued then, are you? It's a bit late for that now, isn't it? Oh, now we've got a couple of days up here. Plenty of time. Lots of people get rescued. Oh, yeah, my brother usually rescues me. If he can keep off the tail for more than 20 minutes. <laughs> Randy, little bugger, wrap him down like the Assyrian Empire. Hello, your family arrived then. Rich! There is Sibling Brian. Thank God you've come, Rich. Yes, well, I think I should point out first, Brian, in all fairness, that we are not, in fact, the rescue committee. However, I have been asked to read the following prepared statement on behalf of the movement. Oh, God. Are we, the People's Front of Judea, brackets, officials in brackets, do hereby convey our sincere fraternal and sisterly greetings to you, Brian, on this, the occasion of your martyrdom? What? Your death will stand as a landmark in the continuing struggle to liberate the parent land from the hands of the Roman imperialist aggressors, excluding those concerned with drainage, medicine, roads, housing, education, <laughs> viniculture, and any other Romans contributing to the welfare of Jews of both sexes and hermaphrodites. Signed, on behalf of the PFJ, etc. And I'd just like to add on a personal note my own admiration for what you're doing for us, Brian, and what must be, after all, for you, a very difficult time. Ridge, what are you going to do? Goodbye, Brian, and thanks. Well done, Brian. <laughs> Give it up, lad. Terrific. Another part of the cautionary tale I said about government earlier. <laughs> that made perfect sense. Yes. And if you don't get it, then <laughs> I can't help you. <laughs> no help. Right, well, right. And... For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, jolly good fellow, and so say all of us. And so say all of... Nice. You bastards! Where is Brian of Nazareth? You bastard! I have an order for his release. You stupid bastard! Uh, I'm Brian of Nazareth. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm Brian of Nazareth. Take him down. I'm Brian of Nazareth. I'm Brian. Who's Brian? I'm Brian. I'm Brian. I'm Brian, and so's my wife. Take him away and release him. No, I'm only joking. I'm not really Brian. I'm not Brian. Oh no, it was a joke. Pulling your leg? It's a joke! 
I'm not him, I'm just having you on. Put me back. Bloody Romans can't take a joke. So it was Dirk McQuickly <laughs> that got Brian crucified. It all, yeah, it all makes sense. Do you damn people's fun? Oh, oh wow. We are the damn people's fun. Crack suicide squad. Suicide squad. Attack. Oh. What? That showed him hurt. <laughs> what? The suicide Silly sod. to me and I think it's great what you're doing. Thank you, Brian. I'll never forget you. Seriously? <laughs> yes. Yes. Ugh. Tale old as time. So there you are. <laughs> I might have known it would end up like this. To think of all the love and affection I've wasted on you. Well, if that's how you treat your poor old mother in the autumn years of her life, all I can say is go ahead, be crucified. See if I can. Um, oh, young people, now I don't, I don't know what the world's coming to. <laughs> <That's>... <sighs> Cheer up, Brian. You know what they say? Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life's gristle, don't grumble. Give a whistle. And this'll help things turn out for Always look on the light side of life If life seems jolly rotten There's something you've forgotten And that's to laugh and smile and dance and sing When you're feeling in the dumps <laughs> Don't be silly chumps Just purse your lips and whistle That's the thing Always look on the right side of life Oh, dude for life is quite absurd, and death's the final word. You must always face the curtain with a bow. Forget about your scene, give the audience a grin. Enjoy it, it's your last chance at the So always look on the bright side <laughs> of death. <laughs> Just before you draw your terminal breath. Life's a piece of shit when you look at it. A laugh and death's a joke, it's true You'll see it's all a show Keep them laughing as you go Just remember that the last laugh is on you <laughs> Always look on the right side of life Always look on the right <laughs> Oh my god. No question, two thumbs up. That's obviously not enough for this one. No. I can see why <clears throat> I can't watch this movie with my grandparents. I can watch it with my mom. Uh, I can't watch it with my in-laws. But god damn it was a funny movie. It was really funny and I feel like, you know, uh, uh, you, you definitely have to know where this comes from to get how brilliantly it's written. Um, you know, and, and I, I feel like this is just a, a really, really well, hilarious movie. The freaking alien part, best. What? <laughs> that part. <laughs> I just, what? <laughs> it hurt my head. I know, right? Oh. Funny as hell. That was awesome. That, I, 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 for, I hesitate to say that it was a product of its time because this t subject matter just definitely trans transitions through time. <laughs> Get through that word. <laughs> You, Transcends you, fine. You're, you're like Trey. I was like, get past it. Anyway, you're one to talk. I know, right? <laughs> I know, but you were. Oh, anyway, uh, y'all know what to do. Yes. Put more movie suggestions in the comment section. If I doubt this will make it to YouTube, but doubt in case it. it does, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell, and sharing with your friends. Yes, guys. Regardless, thanks for your patronage on Patreon and keeping the lights on here at ATS21. Definitely. Either way. 
Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic. <laughs> See you next time. Later. Fellas, we can be that mistake. Let's do this.